He going to lead us in prayer? I will. Father, we thank you for this day, Lord, uh, the day that you've made, Father, and we rejoice in it. Thank you, God, for uh, this uh, school system, Lord, and I pray you'd give us guidance and wisdom as we make decisions that affect all these children and, and the employees of the school system, Father. And may we do it in a way that honors you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everybody, please sign in. That's not working. Everybody's working. All right, both. Got a guest here tonight. Work. Have no idea. No idea. Just do it by force vote. Uh, what just do it? Yeah, are you? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, recognition of guests. I'm going to let Miss Faye introduce our guest that's here tonight. Um, our guest tonight is Miss Nancy Williams. Nancy, will you please stand? Uh, she is TSBA's past president and she is here to evaluate our board tonight and we appreciate her and she is from the Oneida City Special um, District System and we're glad to have Nancy here. She's a good board member. She's been a good state director and we're honored to have you, Nancy. Yeah, thank you. I guess we're all excited about Faye being your president too, all of our president. We're looking forward to that. Good. She's young. She can do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, approval of consent agenda. We had one item we had to add. Um, was it three items we added, Gail? Three items. Okay. The Carroll Elementary School Computer Lab. Is that right? And then, y'all, has everybody turned their disclosures in tonight? Employee disclosure. How many do we have? Oh, turn my name in. One, two, three, four. I've got five. I've got five. Okay. You can do it while I'm having the meeting. Just write it out. Okay. It's just something we have to do every year. So I got. I see. I lack. I see. Johnny, who who we lack? Mine. Yours. Do we have to sign those? I got yes. it. I didn't sign those. Down to the knees, Johnny. Okay, I'll get it. It'll take two minutes, dude. Is that got your burn? got I don't have anybody, so. I have no one. I have no one. All right, thank you. All right, can you get approval to approve the consent agenda? So moved, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion to have a second. Second the motion. Second. Second. Any I'll second it. Any discussion? Cast your vote. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote. Yes, Dave, yes, Burge, yes, Creekmore, yes, Fields, yes, Goins, yes, Heatherly, yes, Lester, yes, Morgan, yes, Roger, yes, Motion Pass. Thank you. Uh, approval of regular agenda. What's the pleasure? Mr. Chairman, I so move we approve the regular agenda. I have a motion, Ms. Rodner, do I have a second? I'll second. I have a second. Any discussion? Cast your vote. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote. Court, yes. Baden, yes. Burge, yes. Creekmore, yes. Fields, yes. Goins, yes. Heatherly, yes. 
Leicester, yes. Morgan, yes. Roger, yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Next item's comments from Chair. I just have three things. The first thing is Johnny Bruce back there? He's not, is he? We need to check on Campbell County High School. I got another call or two calls today from parents in the band or children in the band, and they're still making them practice on that hillside. And I thought we got that worked out last year at the end of the school year. Can you check on that, Mr. Headley? Yes, sir. Thank you. The second item, if you'll look at that uh, handout that Gail gave y'all, Richard's here, we're gonna move this item up. We're gonna talk about that capital outlay note really quickly, because there's nothing we can really do about it tonight. I'm going to let Richard explain why we can't do anything about it tonight. Okay. Um, Jeff sent out an email to some of y'all. Everybody. Uh, get I think everybody got it, I assume. Uh, county Commission is only interested in approved issues of the capital outlay note. Uh, that's uh, the specific form of capital outlay note that's with uh, Board of Education. I thought that's what we were doing. Yeah, he like finish it. We got oh, to okay. leave. So I think I don't agree with it. What he's saying is, we need that list of items. It doesn't need to be any short-term lived items like computers or anything like that, because it's against state law. And then we need exact amount of numbers associated with the project on the track and so on and so forth. And then we can prove it. Okay. <clears throat> My question to that would be, how do you know when everything has to be bid to what? Just, just the best. Just the best. So if we tell a company we're going to spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars on the track, they can do it for one hundred eighty. They're going to charge us two hundred fifty thousand. I mean that's my thinking. Uh, as long as it's for equipment and school to be used at the schools, I mean that's pretty. Jeff says it has to be an itemized list that they can produce to the auditor to say this is what they're going to spend the money on. We can have that list hopefully by next meeting, right? You got it tonight. Okay. We just need numbers put on that list is all we need. Mr. Chairman, does it need to be on any specific form? No, I think what Larry's got is appropriate. We just need to attach numbers to it. We, we probably need to sift that out a little bit, though, I think, when we look at the list. Is that what out? Sift that list out. I think there's things on there that are not truly capital outlays. Yeah. yeah. And then some things that are probably not priorities as well. Yeah, and once you read through that email, you'll see that there's no short-lived items or anything like that. You don't want to be paying for a computer 12 years from now. Right. You know, that's, that's a state thing. It's not our thing. But we can approve it, John. We've got to have that list for specifics of which school what work the tank. And we can't divvy from that list if we change our mind we get into them. I think we can but you've got to have something to take you know, we can't approve seven hundred fifty thousand. We've got to send it to the county commission for approval. Mm -hmm. It tells in there they're right. the ones that can yeah, I understand that, that. for capital outlay. Okay. So if Larry have that for us next school board meeting, can you do that with numbers on it? It'd be my recommendation to meet with uh, Mr. Bain and, and possibly somebody from each district like Mr. Morgan said, to pare that down and get the major items on that list. And we have quotes already on most of those items, so we can get in the ballpark on all of that. It's like these security cameras. There's no way those will last 12 years. It doesn't need to be on that list. 
Do we not already have security cameras? Yeah, that's how we. I thought we did. All right, being taken care of. You know, and that's what that's what he's concerned about. He said we're not past state auditors. I was hoping you would be here tonight. Like things like that, uh, parking lot ceiling and all that stuff. That's fine. Sixty computer lab chairs. You can't do that. Uh, awnings for a building. You can do that. AC. I don't think you can get away with that. It's got five years on it. Playground equipment. I guess you could do that. I don't know. <coughs> but long story short, once we get numbers attached to this, whatever it comes out to, Johnny, if it's seven hundred fifty thousand or seven hundred, we'll set that amount and get the county commission to approve it. But if we don't spend that amount, we don't have to spend it. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have that done by next school board meeting. Now, with that, I talked to Mr. Nyman this week, last two weeks, and we're going to postpone the director of search for a few months. He's going to stay with us longer. We've got a contract that goes through when? June 30. June. So I'm not going to give out a list tonight on the, the search because he wants to stay with us until this $750,000 spent. So, Mr. Chairman, I, I agree that it's good that he would stay with us, but I would. Uh, just make a point that I think we ought to start the search because we've got to do that. Well, we got till uh, June of next year. We, we started in November or December. I think that would be perfectly fine. That's something the board can take up at another meeting. Can we not get an opinion of the board? Yeah, the next meeting. It'll be on the agenda for the next meeting. Oh, we can't ask them out? Yeah, sure, you can ask. What's the board? Well, I, I think we ought to get started. I see no reason to put it off myself. It's just my opinion. Okay. It's not going to hurt anything. I mean. <laughs> So. He just doesn't want to be going through helping us with the director of search and the building committee working on all these capital projects when sure. we're trying to hunt that person or hire that person or have TSBA find us that person. I don't know which route we're going to go. Well, I don't mean to be a sore spot, but I don't understand. The two don't seem to be exclusive to me. It seems like separate items to me. Agree. Yeah. We can start it, but it won't take effect till June. Well, I do understand that. Okay. But I don't understand. I mean, we got... I, I think the more time we have, the better off we'll be. Okay. This like is I said, my it, first one. So. It, it'll be on the next uh, agenda to be discussed. Okay. All right. Moving on. Director's monthly report. At the workshop uh, last week, my guys asked if uh, I would look into teachers spending their money in the most equitable way. I talked to Lisa and Jeff and Deb, and one possible way of doing that is, let's just say at Jack Gray Elementary, if a number of their teachers wanted certain items from a location, if the school can purchase those, and we'd have to kind of cut through the goings to oversee that, the school can purchase those items. We can reimburse the school, or we can reimburse an individual teacher. If uh, Mr. Lester was teaching at Jack Crow Elementary, and he had $198 of school supplies, if they were legitimate and Rita Goins located, then we could also reimburse him as an individual. The best way, though, is to do that within a school setting as a group. That cuts down on paperwork for the school. It cuts down on a lot of paperwork for the finance department. Do I have a question? On yeah, that? you do. Uh, I know the other school systems don't have to do that, Mr. Knight. For I know they can go to, for instance, to the school blocks over, and they can they have a, I guess they have a purchase order and invoice and buy their stuff there, or where they can find the best deal. I, go, think, go. I think we need to make it as easy on our teachers as we can. If it's a yeah. little more paperwork, it's just a little more paperwork. But if, there's a vendor package, huh? if there's a vendor packet, Richard, would we have to have a vendor packet if someone went to myself as an individual teacher? If I went to school box and not, would they have to have a vendor packet for me to be reimbursed? No, I think the individual would be able to be reimbursed. But you also need to make sure that the individual knows that it must comply with items that the board made up and the principal says can be purchased. And they have that list, right? That they can purchase. 
Well, that's for Dr. Dolan, someone that they to review. I have one more question, Mr. Mike. Can we not just give the teachers $200 and let them spend it where they want? Well, that's not fair to the teachers. Well, that's not fair to the teachers. Well, that's not fair to the teachers. Well, not free the teachers up to get the most for their money? They, I know my wife buys stuff at, at that Dollar Tree. Yeah. Does and she get it tax exempt? Huh? Does no, she get she it? She pays taxes, but it's still cheaper than mm -hmm. these other places. Yeah. If they don't need to be paying taxes on it. We, we give, what, $75,000 or something like that to supplies. And if they start paying taxes, that's $7,500 we're just giving away to the state. I, 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 you know, I guess it's not time to make the most of it. I think if, if it's going to be that complicated, let's just give them $200 and let them spend it for they want. Or $400. Or $400. Yeah. I've always said it's not enough money. That would be a finance question if we could issue a check for That would be a board dollars. movement, but I mean, this is <coughs> the board to do that? It has to be on the agenda, yeah. unless we do an addendum to add it. Can we, but anyway, can we add that to next month's agenda? Yes. And I'll look into that. I'll ask that question. Okay. Uh, MBI, I'm going to go ahead and do a requisition unless the board disapproves. Uh, to let the architect take a look at the field house roof of King County High School and get that process ready to be it. And, uh, and what is the scope on that work? I'm going to estimate the roof to be $25,000, $30,000, just to guess. And that's probably including architectural things. And Mr. Chairman, could I add in? I talked to uh, Jamie and to Chris Mays and to um, what is Brian Miracle, and we're dealing with mold in that field house. So it's something that we're going to have to address, however way we do it. Ray, can you not address that mold quickly? They're still using that field house. We really need a roof on it so that whatever we do is permanent. You don't have to be scrubbed down, pressure washed, painted, sealed off. It's going to be a pretty good operation. Yesterday at the end service, we had 22 percenters that came uh, TSBA from the retirement from uh, TCRS, local teachers, but we had 22 percenters that presented. Uh, all day long at the high school. Good. The only thing that we talked about being improvement if we had a lot of refreshments and served them, it would have been a little better. Honey, what was the turnout? Well, every teacher, bus driver, custodian, cook attended some of those sessions. Good. That's all I had. Mr. Nottifer, would you have any problem? With Mr. Bain getting with Mr. Fraley and looking at that building before you sign a contract with Brady, because we might get into a situation to where we can build another building cheaper than what right. the no. mold. Yeah. No, I've had no problem. Can you do that, Mr. Bain? Mr. Be glad to. Right. Because you can go a long way on thirty thousand dollars on a metal building. You hey, know, what so. is it got a metal roof on it? What's it got on it? Rubber roof. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. And then if we determine it's not that bad, then we can, you know, you can pursue the contract with the roof. So. That's a good idea. I've not been in it, but I don't know. Mr. Bain, uh, any evening, I'd be glad to meet you and Mr. Franklin, because that needs to be. Okay. Good. It, it needs to be done pretty quick, too. So. Yes, because we have uh, visiting football players. Is that correct? That change in that room as well? Is that where they yeah, change? We got we... into a situation once before with the potential lawsuit. We don't want to go down that room. No. We'll have to dress, have those students dress somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that would be unsafe. Yeah. Any questions, Commissioner Nyder? Mm -hmm. All right, monthly financials. Go ahead, Mr. Richard. Yes. Uh, as you know, we're going to get a little bit of a financial at this time. On budget minutes and resolutions, there were a total of five minutes and resolutions. I do have one comment, Mr. Terry. Uh, I believe it's 8.3. I could be wrong. But there's a budget amendment that affects the money that the Barrett family left to help out at school. 
my understanding that only the committee can appropriate that money and that that is not a function of the school board or of the finance department. Did you say uh, the Barry family? Barry. Oh, Barry, yeah. Well, we're continuing to the uh, school system and have to go about it. In other words, it's going to be left up to the committee anyway. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm, I know I'm. What is the purpose of the resolution? I don't understand that the appropriation. This reappropriates of money. At June 30th, any of the appropriations uh, ceased or died at June 30th. And we're reviving those, but we can't buy away from it. We don't have it on the How much is left on it? 20? 1901 is what, what was in there. I thought it was close to $20,000. 1900, I think. What? We just bought that computer lab to use Christmas. That's right. Equipment. Mm -hmm. $1,941. Identified for cost center CC005. Has the committee met? No. Uh, that's the only problem that I think is still related to the uh, Crystal, has uh, Miss uh, Lay said anything about what she needed that other money? She from? just gets what she wants and we all sign up on it. <clears throat> okay. It's got two um, parents and Steve and I. Gotcha. And the principal, of course. Two <clears throat> parents. Thank you. Anybody have anything else? Can I get a motion to approve monthly financials? I'll make that motion. A motion to have a second. Second the motion. Second. Any questions? If not, cast your vote. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote. <coughs> I have a second. 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 Any discussion? Cast your vote. There's one wish to change your vote. Show us the vote. Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, item D1, 
request the commission that Mount Fields for a region tour of Jack Hill Middle School funds for an improvement grant for two levels. Do we have a motion to request for bids? So, so, moved. so moved. Second. I have a second. We got a second. Any discussion? Cast your vote, please. Anyone wish to change your vote? Short the vote. No renewals. Uh, on item two, two. Okay. Another request would be a that's for band equipment at Campbell County Hospital. Mr. Chairman, I had that put on the agenda. Mr. Wright is here to, if any board member has any questions. Is that, what is that for, actual equipment? That's, yeah, we, we provided a list at the committee meeting. Did you get that list? I think so. Okay, Ms. Parks has it. So he'll need to get with you to do the bid process and everything once we approve. Okay, 25,000 is what we agreed on, and I'd, I'd put that in the form of a motion. It's, it's under item for action, we'll wait to get to that item. Um, yes, okay. Yeah. I'll withdraw my motion. Uh, while you're talking about that, uh, Mr. Wright, uh, you want to address that uh, where you're having practice at while you're here. I'm glad you're here. Um, to make it short, uh, a few years ago, uh, one of the coaches uh, approached me and said the field would be uh, fixed for the soccer field, and once it was fixed, we would be able to use it for a practice field. And he asked me any specifications or anything that I specifically needed. And I said the only request that I have is that we have a high rise or some kind of lift so we can look down straight up the kids and I'll look at shapes. Um, and then we went through that process, went to the other side, uh, where kids are constantly rolling their ankles and falling and kind of That's what time. the parent told me. And it's not it's honestly not wide enough for us to put the whole show over there. Uh, and I talked to uh, the head coach and said, Do we have any issues? I plan on buying black paint so it's not going to conflict with the white lines. He said nothing that I know of. It's going to be fine. But he called me right before my band practice yesterday and booster meeting yesterday. And that's when I was asked where we're going to practice. And he, he told me uh, right before I walked in the door that the other two coaches uh, do not want us painting on the field. We're perfect to use it, but we can't paint on it. Those are all of our yard markers. That's everything we do. It's just like a little football field. When does soccer uh, practice start? When does that start? The girls start. Yeah. Girls start now. Yeah. Well, we need to work out a place because I thought we had it worked out last year. They've got another practice field the football team does on the bottom field, don't they? We need a, a place during the fifth period, five days a week, and until five o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. <coughs> Big school property. Surely we can find enough space for that. I had a question about that. I'd heard that you all had a question about parking, uh, practicing in a parking lot. Is that true? Is that? I would love to after school. After school. We could get away all the students on the Lafala side and maybe out of the area that we would need, but I still need a place during um, the actual class period during the day. Mm -hmm. for okay. Yeah. We need to work on that some way. <coughs> okay. All right. So sorry for the parents bombarding you all with emails and stuff, but I was told that just before we went to the meeting when they asked me where we'll be practicing. Is that something Mr. Knight, if we're going to discuss with the principal, or yeah. who's going to work on that, I guess? I spoke with Jamie Wheeler today, and she said they were doing the best they can, and they were working on it. And so they called you as well, the mm -hmm. parents? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We'll try to get you an answer. Right. <coughs> uh, update from Faye. We got all the bookkeepers back to school? Yes. All back, three new bookkeepers, all trained. All schools are closed out with the exception of one. And we're doing that tomorrow evening. Uh, Mr. Hill's firm is scheduled to audit the schools the last of August. 
And then that other issue has been cleaned up as well. It's one of the bookkeepers. Uh, we have a new bookkeeper at Jellicoe Hospital, doing wonderful. Of course, Mrs. Wilson, who replaced me at Kilmer Hospital, is doing a great job. The new bookkeeper at Fido. Uh, I close that school out as is. It is what it is. Uh, Everything got returned. We audited. New bookkeeper came to work July the 31st. I have worked with her twice. Uh, hope that I can get up there tomorrow to work with her some more. She did not get trained on a closeout. Uh, I'll do that next season. But, uh, they're doing great. Right. Back any questions for Ms. Bank? Any questions in regards? Not a question, but a comment. Thank you for a job well done. Thank you. Uh, out of fraction, we've already talked about the 750. First of all, we we'll, we'll still want to pursue the 750. Do raise your hand. I think we yes. all want to do that. Can, okay. we, uh, can we move tonight by saying uh, just added to that to direct Mr. Nidaford to provide a list to speed up the process for the county commission. We can probably do that and have a special meeting and vote on it, yeah, once that list has been prepared. <coughs> when do they meet? Monday after week? Uh, third Monday. What I'm saying is make the motion, add to give him the authority to provide the list and something else he'd ask for cost. on here. I think the cost. Oh, the, the limit on the loan. We'll have to need to approve that, and the commission will approve our minutes from that special. We meeting. actually have to approve the list, okay? And then they got the ultimate say in it. But yeah, we can do that. You can get it together quick enough. We'll have a special call meeting. Sure, Mr. Payne and I. Matter of fact, we'll just open it up uh, after the citizen date, Mr. Payne. Yeah, what's good with everybody? Does everybody want to come to that meeting again? Sure. I think it'd be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's a good date for everybody next week? Or is next week good or bad? Well, it needs to be next week because they yeah. meet the week after. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to meet. We'll do it Tuesday. You Tuesday the 15th right? at 5 o'clock. Uh, you okay? Mr. Bruce and I uh, hold on, hold on. with the foundation. On Tuesday? Hold on. Well, what about Monday? What about Thursday? Mr. Workshop meeting on the 2nd. Well, can we not put on their agenda that we've got an item for them to look at and approve that third Monday? I think so. We would be in touch with them. Okay. Will you uh, work that through finance and let them know to put that on the agenda through the mayor's office? The first of the week. Okay. Robbie should have something on the lights by then, too. Here Tuesday. Well, how will fault utilities on that? Yeah. Well, I've discussed it with Kenny and Link today. He Next suggested one. this uh, contact the contractor. So what is today? Does In fact, three days. I contacted Knox County, talked to some folks today. It's Monday. I really thought he would give me some numbers to show you all tonight, but just in the next couple of days, I'll have uh, okay. okay. Thank you, Robert. How's Monday the 14th for everybody? At what time? It's five five o'clock. Five thirty be better. Five thirty is fine. Everybody's good. Monday the fourteenth at five thirty at Central Office. Just make sure <coughs> the commission is aware that it's going to be on their agenda. Okay. Wish Johnny Bruce was here. Uh, See to that. Five thirty. At Central Office. Gotcha. Uh, consider approving the funding for twenty-five thousand dollars for Camel County High School. What's the pleasure? For the band, I so moved. That's a motion. I have a second. second. Second the motion. Two seconds. Any discussion? Cast your vote. Anyone wish to change your vote? Short the vote. Mm -hmm. C, consider approving religious release time program for the 17-18 school year. I think you handed out something, didn't you, Larry? Do you have anything on that? If you remember last year, we did a pilot program for Well, and two, I think uh, they're asking for the 2017-18 year to be approved. That uh, time release board is really active now. They're meeting, uh, um, you know, real regularly. And this is, we've already approved the program, but it's just to approve this next year, 17-18. Do they meet at Charles Church? Do I? Where they meet at? They meet, uh, they've been meeting at Hillcrest. That's right, Church. 
Baptist Church. Yeah, your church. Okay. All right. What's the pleasure? I make a motion that we grant the extension. I second. I second. Field. Any discussion? Cast your vote. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us a vote, please. Court, yes. Next item discussed and taking necessary action regarding transportation for JROTC. Travel to Jellico. Mr. Lester, you want to come up? That's a great program. Sir, it's program. It's transportation for Jellico and after much research and uh, discussing with uh, Curly Jackson which is a head of the board transportation for State of Tennessee uh, basically a uh, 50 passenger van is defined as anything as a uh, 10 passenger not including the driver it means it needs to be 11 15 is pervade by federal law unless it conforms as an activity van which basically is a bus without markings that's what it gets down to uh, this was proposed number five uh, the new Referendum that was defined to redefine and get more clarity has not been finalized on report, so we have to stick with that. So the only solution to bypass that without any headache or, or violations is to go with a 10 passenger, same model van, uh, which meets all standards, doesn't affect any federal uh, transportation uh, laws or policies, uh, uh, having an issue with insurance and management. It's not quite what we need as coverage, but it will help now do what we need to do, and it also has to go capabilities. Um, on your uh, sheets that I handed out there. This is pretty familiar to you guys. Uh, I actually added a few updates on there. Uh, the vehicle change and it has the basic driver requirements as far as side impacts, airbags, uh, restraints for each vehicle, it passed all safety standards with the highway safety transportation to DOT. Uh, DOT. So basically, it's safe. Um, it's uh, not deregulated or against any kind of regulations to utilize. And it's the only manufacturer that carries a 10 passenger true wagon, not a van for uh, transportation of personnel. Where, where you go with uh, the old cutaways, any kind of stuff, basically a cargo van, seats modified and set in the middle of the day. This has side impacts, um, safety restraints, like I said, for each passenger and side airplanes. It meets with all uh, highway, safety, highway safety standards. Um, for 17, approximation on pretty much the same thing as made to the, the board before. Around 41,000 MSRP built directly from the uh, manufacturer. Now, as to the destination line, I'm not converting to myself pretty much at cost, but I'm assuming this is just an assumption that the school board put out the vehicle coming in somewhere along the same line. I think they're cost somewhere between 33 35. It did not own uh, the outfit, it's off by the manufacturer. Uh, with the scope of work defined, uh, pretty much the transit is the only one that fits that requirement at this time. Uh, there may be something else out there that I'm not aware of when I did a search on uh, 40 10 passenger safety standards and requirements with regard for the uh, transportation that met it. And when you build the scope and put it out there for the report, you'll get back to the uh, requirements that meet those. But that somewhere in the line we're looking at uh, as far as uh, current status. The only thing is we go with a new vehicle for 17, they're covered in 3 or 36, please three maintenance warranty and repaired. If you want to be extended on the front end or the back end, it's always cheaper up front than in the future, cover you up to five years, not the county county pocket for repairs. Major so, define uh, your program at this time, why you need transfer and how you're working between Campbell County High School and Jellicoe. Well, the near term solution is we have rid of the vehicle that's kind of been gracious enough to be a uh, eight passenger for us. And how it works is uh, we started out like 94 students about two years ago. We were about 156 last year at Campbell County High School. Uh, we've now started a Jellicoe program, which uh, when I left the school today, there are 33 enrolled <coughs> at Jellicoe with four waiting to be in process, so around 37, possibly 38 students, which is quite a bit. It actually almost exceeds fire code for the room for one period. So that would put us somewhere around 175 to 200 projected for this year. It's the most double in the last 24 months. Uh, currently we are leaving, myself and that's our journey. Uh, we don't have a third period. We have a planning and we have a skinny class that follows that. So we're taking our senior uh, kids, put them in skinny class, using them as assistant instructors uh, at Jellicoe, which we do also in our classes at Campbell County. 
uh, when, get, when we get established, we work with Rome State to try to get them some kind of uh, college credit elective for their for their efforts. Uh, we transport uh, the way they do it now. We be around one o'clock p.m., which for us is either in the third or the second, depends on what end we get for this year. And we drive over the mountain. We make it by fifth period, and we instruct from around one forty for close business, and then we conduct uh, when we conduct the practice afterwards for the kids initially we can filter down how many we have that are actually going to be on the teams so we can transport them back over after school instead of holding practice in two places only in the morning. The only issue is the parents will have to come over here to pick them up because we can't get, continue to make trips. It's not uh, financially uh, uh, responsible at the time to do so. But that's our current plan is how we're operating. We flip week to week. I'll have one week to turn to the next week and until we find another instructor to help us leave it alone. But the uh, instructor was requested um, to be by not by Jellico number that, but clearly just Cal County number. We were already going to request that instructor out of the other week, the second year from the Army. I believe I guess we entertain your request. Uh, now we're going to request. Uh, for one, over 151 requires pre instructor, but 201 requires four. So technically, we can probably ask for four in this year for the enrollment. We're going to ask for one and take a couple years to get it funded. Uh, but they will help us alleviate the transition over there and put us on three rate rotation so that they get introduced to the instructor, all three of us, and at least at a constant pace. So it's not just one person stuck over there working at it, it's all three of us. But the way we've designed the program is not a, a school program for Jellico and Campbell County High School. It's Campbell County here, if you've seen it. You've seen our website, our Facebook, and our shirts that we program them when we do the kids. It's one team, one unit, not two separate high schools in Campbell County. It's just one simple program. It just happens to be where it's dislocated at, at times from each other. So to alleviate that, we've been using transportation over back and forth. And prior to that, even we do with the program, because I myself start changing pocket unless we utilize a school bus. And the Army does pay for three or four trips, and it has to be on their agenda. For them to do it, it has to be a national trip or something along the line with all the local stuff we do, uh, the 69 uh, uh, competitions, all, all the color guards we do for the county. Anytime we do any kind of service, we put them in our vehicles on our time, our money, and take them there. And we do a lot of running there. I mean, a whole lot of running. We burn the roads up probably about four or five, six days a week, one time seven, depending on what day you know, time of year it is. So, right now, we're we're, uh, we're gracious enough to get some assistance with the transportation. So, we utilize and I utilize it today, ran over the mountain to come back, and I had to get this. I don't know how I'm going to feel it because I was down about four feet of gas and I'm not going to make it over there and back. So it's about a half hour trip over, half hour trip back, depending on uh, uh, traffic. If you say one way, we always check the maps first. If there's a stop, it gives me a building out and that's how we're adjusting the program now. But we're looking at projecting somewhere around 200, once that's about 200 kids entirely. So it's about 100% larger than it was a year ago. And there's 35 over there? 35, 33 actually in Aspen. And then four saying that's standing by, and then one, I'm just saying, uh, said 50 50. He's not sure what he's going to do yet, but they haven't finished the process. And I'm not that. That still changes here. And you said a whole lot there. Let me ask you this Can we just not add an instructor and take care of that? Uh, sir, I wish it was that easy. Food can be show one, but there's about five things that have to happen. Uh, one, you have to find an instructor that wants to instruct when they retire. Uh, two, they don't have to move here to this part of the country and have a slim amount of people. Uh, third one is you have to get qualified. Through uh, cadet command, so they have to meet strenuous background, typical background checks. They have to have a degree, either two years in NCO, four years as an officer. He goes down the line and, and their package with no uh, prior issues. And once you get that established, you get to those, those hurdles. Then you got to find someone who will come here without army funding at this time. So you're asking uh, asking someone to do all these things. If you come here, there will be back up counters, okay. no certification, and guarantee the job. Say one or two years. So I don't know if we go on a budget for each other. I mean, never know what's going to happen. On, we didn't have a budget for eight years, so it's kind of difficult to work on a you know, uh, CSR. So it's a little harder than it seems. Uh, we're working on it, but right now we can carry the load. We anticipate when we start moving my group, we can handle it. This year, for sure, it's going to be hard after the first semester. You know, it's going to be tight, especially with weather. But right now we can handle the load. It's not a long-term solution, short-term solution. And I have my feet down the tree. I thought we had some money, and then they got to pay mobilized. And we in Afghanistan, and we got to start out to retire. It's a junk, sir. So once we get uh, an actual uh, program established, and we get something from some right to the school board, I can go to the uh, command and say, can you publish this in this map? 
so that maybe we could reach out across the nation and find someone else. That What's this alternate here about the enterprise rental? Well, sir. The enterprise rental information? Yes, sir. Tell me about it. short term solution for transportation. I figure you I think that's probably what 60, 90 days. If you were to purchase one, once you figured out what it's going to work, you got an answer back. And if it has to be manufacturer or manufacturer or local, it still has to take time. What is the price on the enterprise round? I didn't just find it. I was trying to. Oh, the price on the enterprise is about sixty-six dollars a day. I have talked with Lisa back there. We talked about this. We think that there would actually be a state bid that we could purchase a vehicle, right, Lisa? And since we're not paying for an instructor, we could take the instructor funds to pay for the vehicle and get the balance out. Major and Sergeant have been all, I mean, they've got a full plate. And I think it's evident of what they're doing. And, uh, I'm in full support. Because really, if it works, it's a plus. And at the end of this year, if it don't work, we can revisit and do something else. Well, I, I'd just like to say, Major Lester, to you and your staff, that I appreciate the hard work. And obviously, what you're in the County County High School is impressive. And you guys have been willing to extend that to the Jellico. Uh, it's going to be a great opportunity. And we very much appreciate it. That's a good problem. So what do you need us to do? I guess we need to send it out for bid. Uh, I would recommend that maybe Lisa and I look at uh, the state bid, and if there's a vehicle, bring it back to you, the price and so on, and uh, see if we can just purchase one that way. If not, we can bid it out, but that's probably an eight-week process. Mm -hmm. Do you think you got the first semester handled? Yes. Okay. The startup cost of Jellico High School, this is, we need to fund this. Is this, or has that already been funded? Uh, I guess. Mr. Morgan, yes. that also, instructor insurance, well, instructor probably you're looking at $6,000 a month. So each month goes by that we don't have an instructor. We can take those funds that we set aside and buy this back stuff. Back into startup cotton and a vehicle. So that can be paid for the first semester. Yes. That, what is it, fifty-five hundred dollars? I'm saying a vehicle. We're probably looking at twenty-eight to thirty-two thousand. What we said, not kind of research. So whatever the board would like to think to do. I'm my is it a possibility or, or even worth exploring to actually buy a small bus instead of a 10 passenger van? Go ahead. Is there a fill up the sheets of the cars on there? <clears throat> the first thing is the biggest one. Uh, if we get the transit can under, not a bus, no CDL is required for all of the use of us and other personnel. We're not, we're not using the vehicle. That's the best thing for the bank to buy. It's actually probably a little cheaper for a person to buy. <coughs> I think that last bus we bought was $25,000 or something. It was used. Okay, what's the pleasure? You want to send it out to bid? Well, I, I will make a motion that uh, we, uh, I guess, accept Major Lester's recommendations both for transportation and for the startup college. <laughs> I suppose take bids. That would be my motion. I think it's appropriate. I have a second? I'll second it. A second. Any discussion? Cast your vote. <clears throat> Anyone wish to change your vote? Choice vote. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sergeant. Major. Appreciate it. Good mm -hmm. job. Um, e, discuss and take any necessary action regarding $200 teacher supply fee. Here you go, Mr. Morgan. You want to increase that? Well, I, I, I would certainly think that that, that is the bare minimum. If, if we could increase that to $400, I know all the teachers would appreciate it. I think it needs to go up. Um, and I, I think we need to make it easier for them to buy supplies. So I would be in favor, if it is appropriate and allowable, just to give them $400 and let them buy supplies. Richard, you check on that? I check on it and make sure how much appropriate present for instructional materials. 
Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Let's look at that number, see what it is first. Mm -hmm. So what's your motion, Mr. Morgan? Well, my motion is that um, we raise that expense allowance to four hundred dollars for every classroom teacher. And that they that we just give them that money and let them spend that as they see fit in the classroom. And they provide us the receipts back maybe? Well, uh, that I think be, I guess up to finance. Thank you. I have to, don't you, Richard? Get a receipt. Have to have a receipt. Yeah, that's after the fact, though, is what you're saying. Right. All right, I got a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Any discussion? My question is the, before, I mean, do we have money in the budget to cover it? or? We've got capital outlay money. Okay. What's that, Richard? Do you know an estimate of what we're talking about here? $75,000. Is that about what we're talking about? Just the increase of $75,000? Okay. To double it would be 150. Oh, we double 150. So we, we got how many teachers? 375. So it'd be an additional 75,000. Right at it. So we can use capital outlay for that. We can. You can appropriate capital outlay for it. You sure? So it'd have to be realigned. But we can do that. Yes, we can realign it, but it, capital outlay can't be used. Right. Okay. Or just take it out of the bank. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Any other discussion? Cast your vote. <clears throat> Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote. Corey, yes. Fane, yes. Burge, yes. Crickenwood, yes. Fields, yes. Bowens, yes. Lester, yes. Morton, yes. Blackford, yes. Russian, yes. Thank you. Um, I have just discussion. Okay. Legal matters? Bill have anything? Uh, no, sir. He's on vacation? No, he, uh, he was in Oswald there, so I think he's away really on I got you. He's on vacation last week. <clears throat> Our school board members, Mr. Wallace, do you have anything? Ms. Lisa? No, sir. Brent? No, sir. Ryder? Uh, I want to thank the policy committee. We met for two and a half hours, and we still have a long way to go. So I appreciate <laughs> their help, and we're going to work because we've got several policies. We've We've got to work on more and get some questions answered. And we're still we'll getting back feedback from the FBA? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Johnny B? No. Um, I just want to thank Nancy Williams again for being here to evaluate our board. And for those who do not know, uh, TSBA has a program of a board of distinction, and that's part of that program is to have a m member from two different boards to come evaluate the process of our board. Um, I appreciate her being here. She certainly has the expertise and um, qualifications and thank you Nancy for being here. Nancy give us a good grade. <laughs> Mr. And I also want to thank the policy committee, the ones that came. There was not very many, but it was a two and a half hour, uh, and we will have those policies ready to be on the agenda next week. Thank you. No. Ms. Crystal? Yes. Have anything? No. Or motion adjourned. Thank you. Yeah, I'll get these. I'll get all these. Don't need get that. Oh, you already done it. Good job.